hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to use t dash field t dash esc as well as t dash out in case you missed previous discussion about basic idea about how to generate a pdf report please check link is given in the description and if you want to learn more about odoo you can visit the playlist under the playlist you can see here odoo development and here different types of playlist available with different topics and real task cases if you need any support related Odoo, you can visit the about page and send your query to this email address. And source code also available in the GitHub and we have some social media pages. Make sure you can also subscribe this channel to get the latest notification. Let's back to our main topic like how to access this T tags, right? So first thing is, let's say in your PDF report you want to print some statements right the dynamic statements that time we can use these three types of tags the t tags right so here in a qf report we have to work around the t tags everything is starts with the t means the tag right so everything should be start with the t dash and the the specific name and that specific name having some specific work so we will see each and everything so here let's first see t dash field and then after t dash esc right let me go to in editor let's open that our new module the q a pdf report example so last discussion we already created this report right and here like we created this two simple uh, we created a simple pdf report right and now i am trying to print a one student name so let's say okay so here you can say student profile is here and now you can access all these fields right here in the qf report how you can add like let's say t t dash field or let's say you can add here oh sorry so let's say here doc why we need to use doc because you can see this is a record set of that selected report so right now it so here it means if you click to the specific student profile right and when you click this one it will generate a one record set and that record set is the doc right it could be a one or more than one so that's the reason we use here a for loop statement all right and now we just use as a doc here you can also add anything any name here like the web launch it's fine also but make sure like you have to use here the web launch dot and the specific field name so here in our case uh, like let's say let me give you one best example you can see here we are using self and then then after the field name right so this field name you you want to access school id so you are using the prefix as a self dot right so here we have to use doc as a prefix name dot and here the name name means the student profile name i mean the student's name this one right and then you can close the t statement now either you can use t you can use here any html content right like three four five and the six that's also fine you can also add the as a parameter that is also fine right you can also add as a span tag that is also fine i'm just giving you a simple overview like how you can add right so let me upgrade the module and simple i will try to click to this menu now you can see here how oh, So we forgot to upgrade this module right ah so for that like we have to upgrade from terminal if you don't know how to configure Odoo with PyCharm please check editor level playlist I already explained over there and we need to upgrade the module why because we change in the external size now I'm trying to click to this report okay so here we don't need to use this one at the moment let me replace and upgrade the module 
So now I'm trying to print. Now you can see here the hello, how are you? This is the static content. And now you can see those are the student name, right? The Sita Raman. Now you can see here it's a Sita Raman. Let's say you want to print all the student profiles, right? Oh, sorry. You can just click here. In a list view also it's available the print. And once you click here, it means are you using a multiple record set here? That's the reason we use here this for loop. Oh, not this one this one the line number six if you are not using this one and directly using this dog right so if you are using this one it means like when once it comes as a multiple record set it will throw the exception as a single term right while you access the specific field here so for that like make sure you can use the for loop to reduce the error now you can see in a one PDF file it will display only one record set. So you can see the first one is the Ramu Chacha. Then after another report is for the Sita Raman as a student. Another is a Jethalal. Then after student No Hari Om. Then after Sunny Student PSV. Then after Chanakya, right? The Ramu like this. So total eight report generated in one PDF file. All right. So this is all about the PT desk field. Now you can also instead you can also use here T desk ESC. You can also replace here. Right. And you can try to upgrade the module. Just wait. I will explain what is the difference between these two. Right now I'm trying to uh, uh, print this one so you can see the result is the same there is no changes while you use the t-desk field or t-desk ESC right now maybe you have a question why it is something like this we have to use the t-desk field and t-desk ESC so let's say if you have a fields right this field if you want to directly use these fields you can use t desk field here print the specific field right and likewise if you use the t desk esc that is also fine here it's also same to print the statement here but the main difference is the esc here it's a, it's also working with the specific object also plus you can also create your own variables here right So those variables you can access only using this t desk ESC, not with the t desk field. If you're using t desk field, the your own variables, then it will throw the exception here. So let me do one. Example like a t desk value equal to a b c. Let's say as a, oh sorry, not ABC, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0, right? And I'm trying to add here P, T, desk, field, and A. Now I'm trying to upgrade the module. Now I'm trying to print the statement. Now you can see here t desk field a so you can see t desk field must have at least a dot like record dot field name right so let me comment this part and try to upgrade the module you can see here it displayed this variable right one two three four five so this is the main difference here t desk esc and t desk field one more difference is but i will not give you demo in this topic we will see in our later session don't worry about this one you can just focus about only this main difference now what about the t desk out right so simple you can use something like this t t desk out equal to 
like doc the name so t desk out is same as the t desk esu right so you have to remember only this one t desk out t desk esc at the moment and we already upgraded the module and i'm trying to sorry let me upgrade one more time let me click to this smart button and now you can see it's not display here that field uh, let me add here one two three four five six and the code right to understand more let me upgrade the module let me reprint this report you can see only four five six is display but not one two three and this statement right the out this t desk out is not supported in version 14 or the lower version it supports only in version 15 onwards all right so this is the main change here in the qweb report only the difference is in our version 15 this tag is no longer used instead of this one you can use this one t desk out that's the main thing in a version 14 and older versions wise version 15 right in a version 15 you have to make sure like while you upgrade your qweb report whenever you see this one you have to replace to t desk out that's it so this is the main thing here uh, let me also add one more command this tag only works in version 15 versions all right and yeah so this is the main difference here like t desk field t desk esc and t desk out all right if you ha still have any doubt related to this topic please comment below and see you in next session